Hello everyone, I'm Miss Karen at Adams Memorial Library and I am here with our library friends, Diantha and Dandelion and Bryony and Rosie. And this week they found some books about the moon. They found four books about the moon for me to share with you. And they are The Moon Jumpers by Janice May Udry and the illustrations are by Marie Sendak. This one is called Red Knit Cat Girl, and it was written and illustrated by Naoka Stoop. This one is called Music for Mr. Moon. It's written by Philip Stead, and it's illustrated by Aaron Stead. And this last one is a big moon cake for Little Star, and this one was written and illustrated by Grace Lynn. So let me tell you a little bit more about these books. I'll tell you a little bit about them and then you can come to the library and check them out for yourself and see how the rest of the story goes. But you'll know they're all about the moon. And this book, The Moon Jumpers, this is an old, old book, but I think the illustrations are so beautiful. This book is old enough that some of the illustrations are in black and white, but this is and I think the black and white ones are beautiful too, but I do think the ones in color are especially beautiful. They're by Marie Sendak, who did Where the Wild Things Are. And in this story, it's another sort of kind of mysterious nighttime story, but it is about four children and their cat who go out and try jumping at the moon. So it starts out that saying the sun is tired. It goes down into the sky, into the drowsy hills, and the sunflowers lean. They fall asleep to dream of tomorrow's sun, but then the moon is up, and the cat steps out into the garden. There she is on the moonlit path. And it's dark, and it's cool, and a father and mother are slowing down for the evening, but not us. It is time for us to go outside and run and skip and jump for the moon. Can we jump all the way up to touch the moon? Can anybody? Well, we can always try. So if you enjoy going outside on a moonlit evening and running around the garden and the grass, and playing and jumping for the moon. This is a wonderful book for you. This story, Red Knit Cat Girl, it's a little bit more still and quiet. Red Knit, Red Knit Cat Girl lives with her friends in the forest and it's quiet there. And in the forest, there is time to wonder about everything. And Red Knit Cap Girl does. She wonders about flowers and butterflies and leaves and clouds. But most of all, she wonders about the moon. Oh, she would love to know more about the moon. And she thinks, could I ever get close enough to the moon to talk to her? So no matter how high she tries to climb, she doesn't get too close to the moon. But thinks maybe she could talk to her in the water, but no. Reflection's not much good to talk to either. So finally, she decides maybe she could talk to Mr. Owl. Because Mr. Owl is awake at night. Mr. Owl might understand the moon. And Mr. Owl says, well, if you want, maybe the moon will bend down to listen to you. And so Red Knit Cap Girl thinks that would be wonderful and maybe they could make a whole celebration, she and her friends, for the moon. So they make beautiful lanterns to try to call her down. They sit and they wait, but no moon. So if you check this book out from the library, you'll see, do they ever get to talk to the moon? And if so, how? This book, Music for Mr. Moon, this is about, it's about the moon, but it's also about a girl named Hank who plays the cello. And 
She's very, very good at playing the cello, but she does not like to play for anybody else. She just wants to play by herself in her room, just quietly. But then one night she hears, hoo, 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 hoo. And it's the owl outside. And Hank says, please go away. I just want to be alone. And so she sits down again to play the cello, but then she hears, hoo, 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 and oh, she just can't stand it anymore. She takes her teacup and she just throws it out the window. She doesn't want to hurt the owl, but she just wants to maybe, you know, get, get her point across that she really just wants to be alone. But then all of a sudden, her peaceful room fills up with smoke from the fireplace, and it turns out that when she threw the teacup out, she accidentally hit the moon and knocked him down from the sky. Well, she's got to get this moon back to the sky somehow. And she's got to, you know, apologize for accidentally knocking, knocking the moon down. So if you check this book out from the library, you can find out how does Hank do it? Does she help get the moon back to the sky? And if so, what, what do you think the moon would like to do once the moon gets there? Find out when you check this book out from the library. And in this last story, a big moon cake for Little Star. Little Star and her mama making are making a great big moon cake. Huge moon cake that mama's putting in the oven. And then when that moon cake is finally ready, Little Star's mama hangs the moon cake up on the night sky to cool. And she says, now Little Star, your moon cake took us a long time to make, so let's see if you can make it last a while. Can you remember not to touch this moon cake until I tell you to? And uh-huh, little, little star says, yes, mama, I can remember. And she remembers as she gets ready for bed and falls asleep. But then in the middle of the night, she wakes up and she forgot everything that her mother told her about the moon cake because, oh, look how wonderful it looks up in the sky. So she tiptoes over and she thinks, oh, would her mother notice if she just nibbled a little bit? Just a tiny little nibble, nibble, nibble. No, she doesn't think so. So she had some and mm, it was good. And she races back to bed. But then the next night she gets up and she nibbles a little more. And then she leaves some crumbs in her wake as she's going back to bed, but uh-oh, she starts to have a little more, and oh, a little more. Do you think Mama's going to notice, and what do you think is going to happen to this great big moon cake? Well, if you check this book out from the library, A Big Moon Cake for Little Star, you can find out. So we will have all of these books down in the children's room. You can come down to the library and check them out there, or you can always reserve them and just pick them up through curbside service if you'd like, or have them sent to another library. But I hope if you check these books out from the library, you will enjoy them. And thank you for joining me and my library friends here. And we will be back next week with some more books for you. Thank you, everybody. Goodbye.